everybody, Quad Nine's back. It's been uh, about a week, I guess, since I made a video. Um, but uh, I did get to go to a car shop I don't normally go to. I've been to it a couple times, and every time I go, they have dollar binders and dollar boxes, which is very good because I try to keep up with cards that spike, um, especially older cards. And the guy that runs that part of the store is never there, and he doesn't keep up with it. So, I mean, I've got... I've gotten a lot of value out of it before, um, so like I said, of course I didn't have much time this time, so I got to hit their standard binder, and they're blue and they're green, so for like eternal stuff. So I didn't get quite the you know the big value that I wanted. I wanted artifacts and multicolored, but I just didn't have time. So hopefully I'll go back and hit it up another time. But um, all together I got 28 cards. Um, actually, the only charge is 25 because you know oh, there's 25 even is fine. So I'm like. Words. So I picked up some cards for my cube, which uh, they may or may not always be in there. I think about having some kind of rotation going. Anyway, I uh, got restock, uh, secure tribe builder, which I randomly did not have. Uh, I, I didn't believe it until I went back on my list. Like, they're not in there, so I need one. So I picked this guy up. Um, Sand Dimba Freak, which it looks green, but it is blue. So, um, Rewrote. And these are some cards that are good in. You know, different formats, EDH, just casual, just fun stuff. So, this is Snap, I believe. Let me get that. I believe it's Spanish. I'm not sure. I know it's not, obviously, one of the Asian languages or German. It might be German. No, not German. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Spanish or Portuguese or whatever. So, Snap, it's a good card. We have the Korean Dismiss. It's pretty sweet. Yes, Upheaval. Which I know people have not been like a buck or two, but I wanted an extra one, so I might be doing something with that. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. An opposition, another one of my favorite cards, uh, which I got uh, berated in a comment for not taking this in one of my cube drafts. And um, I didn't mention at the time, but one of the reason I, I, I don't always take opposition, even though it's a really busted card, is I tend to time out a lot on Magic Online, and all the triggers just kind of time me out. And. You know, it, it's something silly, but I, like I've had really sweet decks that I, I just lost up one game to nothing because I time out. So, anyway, still a sweet card. In real life magic, I'll just slam this a lot. So, anyway, opposition. A Force Fruition, which is going to go in the Necrosar deck that I'm building. It's a copy of my, my buddy's deck, pretty much. Uh, hopefully, I'll be getting to a deck tech on that soon. But, uh, very cool card with Necrosar. Uh, Wheel and Deal, same deal. It's going to probably go in the Necrosar deck. Got a Deck Master's Thin Horn Elves. The only one I currently had was the uh, From the Vault, so I could do kind of like the original art. Although it is the ugly white border, but uh, you know, like my elves. Uh, got a Hermit Druid, so he's banned in both formats, but cool card. A uh, Brood Sliver. Some of these aren't like, minty either, so like, like I said, this one, you can see that's got some definite white right there at the bottom, but it's not, not nothing big. Uh, I got these two promo Zamet Guild Mages to go just to have. I'm mean, got a, an Edric EDH deck. I've got that Simic Masters standard deck that they can go into. Just I never had a chance to get any of those, so grabbed a couple. An Armada Worm, which is I expect to go up with the Green White Scarland. Um, a Symbol of the Legion. A Foil Blood Scrivener. Cannot get to shine for anything. But it's foil, trust me. Uh, a full Obsidat's Egg. Which is another sweet card. I should have that one that Rocksbox and 90 sent me in my cube. So. Uh, Underworld Cerberus. And Anger of the Gods, which was probably the best deal in that standard binder, was this thing. Um, found one of these in the Eternal Gleam binder, Genesis Wave, which is spiked considerable because of Michael Jacobs' deck. Uh, and it's ADH, it's really good ADH. Uh, some other good cards include uh, Luan, uh, Cephalid Empress, which uh, houses True Name Nemesis for the most part. Uh, not one, but two Nimble Mongoose. So if I want to build a uh, version of Rugged Elver, I'm, you know, there on the Mongoose, I've already got a place at. So. Uh, Disrupting Shoal, which spiked up to 10 for a while. It's back down to like 6. It's a good card. And a Fast Mind from uh, Revised. Which they clock in at like ACGs, like five or six bucks, which 
they're not extremely nifty. This one actually is. This one's a little dirty, but um, you know they're just cool cards. Uh, I know um, Milo plays one in his cube, and I don't. I thought about trying it out, so something might happen. The other thing was I've been hitting up eBay again, and this one uh, seller had a bunch of auctions going off. I didn't get to win near as many as I wanted to. But basically, this is what I, I got. And I spent, like, I think shipping was like 20, I'll be like $23. And I got all these. And, uh, what are these? And they ask. Well, it's got lots of four different cards. These are just four different cards, by the way. And I have these turned around because I went through there. They're kind of beat. But uh, there's well wishers. Five of those there. But there's a, a few more. So. Anybody needs well wishers, let me know. Um, so, I was needing one for ADH deck. And uh, it was like 20. And I wanted to do a putrid dent for um, my cube. Well, got a lot of putrid dents too. So, yeah, um, I figured out and I kind of checked the buy list on some of these. And so, worst case is, there's all those. Um, Got like 18 Kyrian Rangers. Yeah. And the last thing is Sotari Priest, which I wanted for my cube. And um, I think it's like 24. Here, it's, it's a bunch. So, and like I said, they're not all near mint, but they're, there's most of them are at least SP. There's a few near mint ones in there. So I got all those. And I was checking, you know, buy list on them. And so I'm not really going to lose anything at all. Like I, I could probably buy list um, most of this and get like over half my money back and then still have a bunch of it left to trade and then have a couple for myself. So um, like I said, I do advocate uh, checking out eBay sometimes. Sometimes you find good deals. If you find an auction that looks really good, it's not getting a lot of attention, like it's got no bids, like, you know, 16 hours left, click on the buyer, click on their other auctions. A lot of times they're ending like, you know, two minute staggers and if one is not getting looked at maybe the other ones aren't so just I find stuff like that sometimes I spent a little bit too much money um, not for the value I get usually but just I'm not <laughs> spending a little bit too much money on that uh, so there's that um, all together I got like 80 something cards for 20 was it 23 after shipping and uh, you know so if I just trade a few and could sell a few have a few cards for free and have them look up. So there's that. Uh, another thing, I'm going to, I just recently hit 350 subscribers. I'm going to put it out there that when I hit 500 subscribers, which is a pretty good ways off, but I'm going to let this kind of build for a little bit. I'm going to give away a cube. Not my cube. That'd be, that'd be stupid. But an, I'm going to give away pretty much a starter cube. Um, the numbers I've been toying with was a, uh, 180 cards which would be enough for uh, four people to draft without adding anything to it um, it's not going to be strictly common and uncommon there's going to be some rares in there maybe like two per color a couple of rare lands haven't nailed all the cards down yet but i've got i've got a pretty good list going i've got like 100 of the cards already picked out that i have extra just lying around so like you know i got um maybe that i've seen that putting the upheaval in there don't know maybe the opposition we'll see but yeah, so when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away a cube to somebody. It didn't, like, probably some kind of box that we can go in. Uh, I'm not sure on sleeves. Let's see what kind of deal I can get from my local shop on sleeves on that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of nail this down a little bit more as I get closer. I've, I've got a ways to go. I've got uh, like 140 some odd subscribers for it at 500. But yeah, that's definitely going to be fun. Um, kind of looking forward to that. Probably going to be my biggest giveaway yet. And if I, ever, if I ever get 500 subscribers, it's going to be a pretty good milestone for me. So uh, I did get to play um, MTG McQuacks on uh, Magic Online in a modern match. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, it was a lot of fun, the match. I won't tell you no spoilers or anything, but it was a lot of fun. Hopefully it wound up entertaining. He's always funny to listen to, I think. Uh, uh, we actually did a lot of chat typing, so that, like, it wasn't awkward when we were playing, but I don't know if it's awkward to watch that way, but uh, anyway, so I've rambled enough. I'm thinking 10 minutes now, so um, I don't know. 
put down below what uh, what you think about the giveaway, the cards, all that. And uh, like I said, go check out MC McQuax's video and uh, watch this play some modern. Thanks for watching.